Hey guys, it's Baker here, and this is my first After Effects tutorial. Gonna be doing a color correction and whatnot. So yeah, here we go. New composition, call it Clip One, seven twenty by twelve eighty. Blah blah blah. Full resolution. Okay. So here is my first clip. Drag it on there. And so it starts about there, okay. And I got some black lines on the side, so press S to scale, 104. Okay. First thing I want to do is add a curve, so type in curves, drag it to there. And what you want to do is drag it just a little bit in right here, a little S curve for RGB, for red. Green, do the same thing, just a tiny S like that. But for blue, we're gonna go up this way. Gives it a nice little, I don't know, I've heard it's like a cinematic look or something. So that's basically my color correction, but now I'm gonna do an RGB split. So what I'm gonna do is Control or Command D, duplicate it three times, make the top one red, middle one, or is it green? Bottom one, blue. So what you're going to do is go to the red, type in set channels right there, drag it on to the first one, leave red here, change green to off and blue to off. Now go to the green clip, drag on set channels, turn red to off, keep green, and then turn blue to off. And then blue drag that on, change red to off, and green to off. Now you need to go and click where is it? blending mode and change all these to screen. Screen, screen, and screen. Now it looks back to normal and other tutorials have said like all you gotta do is you know shift it over and that kinda like distorts the whole clip so what I do is I scale them so that the middle doesn't get too distorted. So change this 106 maybe in this 108. So the middle is not changed too much. It's just the very edges that are you know, separated the most. So that looks pretty good. And what I'm going to do now is highlight all of them, pre-compose. And just call it, I don't know, clip 1A. Okay. Duplicate that. Take this and let's add another curves. And let's just like darken it a lot. Let's see. Not too much, but that looks fine. We'll see. Now type in fast blur. Drag that on. And let's make it, I don't know, 10. Go to your mask tool and change it to ellipse and double click. Now go to your mask and set it to subtract. And then press F to feather and make it about, I don't know, 300. Maybe turn the blurriness down to 5 or so. Yeah. Okay, so now if we, let's see, RAM preview. Yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. And that's basically it. I mean, I don't know, there's nothing much to it. Just a little no scope and a little color correction. Yeah. So uh, if you like this tutorial, if you want more or something, let me know. Like the video and all that junk. And uh, I'll put the end clip at the end so you can see what it looks like. So thanks, guys. Go! Get out of the